All right, good morning, or shall I say good afternoon, Purple Room. This is Miss Kizzy, and I'm coming to you from our classroom. I hate that we can't be with each other, but uh, with, with that, I know that you guys are being safe. I know that you're washing hands, because we practice that in class, washing hands and being safe. So um, I hope we get an opportunity to see each other real soon. But I'm going to do some lessons with you guys while you're at home. Uh, with your family, uh, some things that you already know so you can teach those to the people that you stay with. So first all, we're going to do our uh, distressor. A lot of you guys know about the star. So we'll do the star to start off with. So if you guys will do, I'll do a sitting down and then you know you guys can do a standing up. So we'll take a deep breath in and then we'll let it out. And we'll do that two more times. So we'll take a deep breath in and let it out. One more, friends. Deep breath in and let it out. Ooh, and for my friends, I like to say inhale and exhale. Those are our extension words. So hope that you enjoy that. Well, we're going to start out today with our math center. And what we're going to do is, if you don't have connecting cues at home, that's okay. You have your family there, so you can count the people in your family. So I was unable to bring my family, but I have cubes that are in our classroom, and I'm going to count how many people are in my family using our cubes. So here we go. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! That's a big number, friends. Ten people in my family. So you can go around and count how many people are in your family. And then afterwards, you can do a self-portrait of the people in your family as a drawing activity. So then you get to draw the people that, that's in your house with you. So I think that should be a fun activity. And then you can uh, put their names on there, uh, add uh, colors, and all kind of fun stuff. So that can be your art project for today. So count how many people are in your family. If you don't have cues, count the people that's there. And then I want to see you draw. Now, my paper's not big enough because I have tons of photo, uh, pictures uh, that will go on that paper. But I want you guys to draw uh, the people that's in your house. And then we're also going to go over a science activity, as some of you guys know already. Of course, I know you guys like water. So I have our sink and float activity. And uh, you guys do a very good job with that. So I have some items here today that we're going to see if they sink at the bottom or if they float like the bubbles at the top. So I'll do some here. So let's see. We have a car. So let's see what happens. Oh man, it sunk to the bottom. And then I have a cube. Oh man, it stayed at the top. I'm excited. And then I have a hole puncher. We'll see. Oh, sunk to the bottom, friends. And then I have a highlighter. One of my favorite things to use in a classroom. Stayed on the top. And then I have the staples. Oh, sunk to the bottom. But guess what we can also do? We can also do some math with that. We can count and see how many items sunk to the bottom and how many items stayed on top. So let me see. I have my cube that stayed on top. So that's one. Highlighter, two. And it's just two things that stayed on top that remained on the top. Okay, so I'll write that number down. So I have, and you can write this down too as you're doing the activity. So I have two that stayed on the top. Let's see what sunk to the bottom. Oh, our car sunk to the bottom. That's one. <gasps> Staples sunk to the bottom. Oh, and then our hole puncher sunk to the bottom. So, friends, right there, that's three. So, look at you practicing, writing, and counting. So, now let's add and see how many we have that we obviously we use all together in our sink and float. So, let's count. So I have one, two, three, four, five. 
I used five items for my sink and flow. And you probably can find way more than that at, the, at your house. So record that information. Be scientists and record that information. Write it all down. Put it in your your uh, journals that I'll be sending with you guys because I'm going to send that to you guys. So everything that you do at home while you're at home, Miss Kitty is going to send your your science journals with you. So you'll be able to record and be little scientists while we're away from each other. And so I can't wait to get the information uh, when we see each other again. <laughs>